All right, Dad's gonna be the only name on here. So uh, he owns the whole World War II column. So uh, Debbie wrote something very nice uh, from all of us. So if you want to unveil it, so we can. Oh, he'll be here forever. to honor dad and mom if possible. Shortly after dad graduated high school, he tried to enlist in the United States Air Force. While undergoing tests for the Air Force, it was discovered that dad was colorblind and therefore unable to enlist in the Air Force. Shortly after that, he was drafted into the United States Army Infantry and began his service to our country in September 1943 at Fort Meade, Maryland. He entered as a private and worked through the ranks to his eventual rank of staff sergeant. He trained to be a medic, whose job was to save lives, not destroy them. Eventually, as World War II progressed, Dad was stationed abroad in Europe from February through April of 1945. During that time, his assignments took him from England to Germany and eventually to Czechoslovakia. In May 1945, Dad was wounded in action and earned the Purple Heart Medal. It was during his time in Czechoslovakia that he learned that the European War had ended. He was sent to France and then back home to the United States to an army camp in Texas in October 1945. In addition to the Purple Heart, Dad earned the Good Conduct Medal, the European African Middle Eastern Theater Campaign Ribbon, the American Theater Campaign Ribbon, and the Victory Medal. After his honorable, honorable discharge with the rank of Staff Sergeant, he began his civilian life where he became a steam fitter with Local 420 and worked with his father. In 1947, Dad met the love of his life, our mother, Teresa Bertram White. Theirs was a true love story. They were married for 65 years, raised 14 wonderful children, and were blessed with 25 beautiful grandchildren. Their love, life, and example have been an inspiration to all of us. Thank you for being here today to honor them. Colors will now be played, followed by the national anthem.
Face the flag, son. Read what's written there. The history, the progress, the heritage we share. Our flag reflects the past, son, but stands for so much more. And in this age of Aquarius, it still flies in the fore. It leads the forward movement shared by all mankind to learn, to love, to live with peace of mind, to learn the mysteries of space as well as those of Earth, to love each man for what he is, regardless of his birth, to live without the fear of reprisal or belief, to ease the tensions of a world that cries out for relief. Face the flag, son. Take a good long look. What you're seeing now can't be found in a history book. It's the present, and the future, son. It's being written now, and you're the one to write it. The flag can show you how. Do you know what it stands for? What its makers meant? To think, to speak, the privilege of dissent. To think our leaders might be wrong, to stand and tell them so. These are the things that other men under other flags will never know. But responsibility—that's the cross that free men must bear. If you don't accept that, freedom isn't there. Face the flags of stars and bars, the red and white and blue, a flag that guarantees. On behalf of the President of the United States and a grateful nation, I'd like you to accept this flag as a symbol of your loved one's honorable faithful service to God, country, and family. For you, you are marvelous.